Hi guys, welcome back. It's Christmas Life Harvey here. I decided, as you can tell by the title, to do a hygiene routine video. Okay, guys, I've never done this before. So bear with me, take all mistakes with the love. And if you guys like these type of videos or you enjoy watching these type of videos or you just wanna be not even educated, but just wanna see what someone else does with their hygiene routine, please guys, keep on watching. So I'm gonna get jump right into the video. Um, I will like to do a disclaimer. I am not a doctor, I'm not a uh, hygiene professional. I am not a gynecologist. I am none of those things. I am just a woman out here doing my best at staying clean and smelling good. But um, I would like to say this is a safe zone, um, no judgment. I just want to show people what I do and hopefully you guys can take some of the things that I do because I watch these videos and I really enjoy watching these type of videos and I've learned over the years that these um, putting these things within my routine actually really does help. I had lots of struggles. I've gone through a lot of um, self-conscious different things about just being a woman, just being, just growing and learning. I will say that I want you guys to be very open if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. Um, please leave that down in the comment box. I'm going to also trying to remember to put everything in my description box. I never really put much in the description box, but it's already been two minutes. So, on this video. So, I'm going to jump right into it. First, before I get into my hygiene routine, I'm going to show you guys a clip of everything that I use. my sister's product um, <laughs> as you guys also can see by the title I'm featuring her product she makes soap she makes candle wax melts she makes lots of things um, you, you guys will be able to um, see that I'm gonna leave a link down below so that you guys can see everything that she have but um, just the basics washing your hands I use rain rain bars soaps and this guys it's a very mild scent and she has given me other soaps that i use also for washing my hands and things like that but this one specifically i asked her to do for my face but i also wash my hands with it. oh my gosh guys this soap I'm not even like hyping it up because of my sister, but I did, I, I will be honest, I did not expect for this soap to make my hands feel so smooth and soft after I wash, and it lathers very well. But after I wash my hands, my hands feel so nice, clean, and soft. Without the lotion, like you can skip the lotion after this. Get your hands on this soap course after a while you know throughout the day you know I'm, I don't have the soap right there all the time so I would use a, um, a lotion and I tried to stick with my own because you're touching your face you're touching different things but I love smells also and I know that's not good so I don't I try to stay away from those things on my body so rain bar soaps you guys get up get up on it get up on it it's good for your skin because my face actually hasn't broken me out it has not make my face feel clean and smooth all at the same time guys so check that out. so I'm gonna start off start out by when I first get into the shower I 
like to do a base soak and I like to use ivory. So ivory, ivory or dove, but right, I, right, I have dove in my shower, but right here, I put up here so I can show you guys. Any mild soap, any soap that is mild and gentle body wash, I will use as my base soap. That's like to clean myself when I first get into the shower. And I always stick with using very lukewarm water in the shower when I shower. I've tried to stay away from very hot showers. So this is good. And this is the lavender scent. It's not like a huge, like, oh my gosh. It's, it gets the job done. So this or Dove. Then I go in and I use a Pure Castile soap. I've been using this soap at least 15 years. I discovered it when I was in Target one day. I used to live right next to Target, so I went to Target every day. Now I maybe go to Target once a week, but now that it's my daughter's favorite store. I probably go twice a week, but that's besides the point. But Pure Castile soap. I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of everything that this soap does. Yes, guys, with this soap, you can wash your hands, face, body. I usually use it on my floor, and I'm gonna show you guys also a clip of that, that I use it on my floor, but you can put it in your laundry, you can wash your dog, you can wash your dog bedding, you can wash your fruit, your veggies. It's like an all-purpose cleaner. You can use it to shave your legs, and I use this for every thing I also have a dog I use it on my face my arms my under my underarms my legs everything guys you can use this on so much stuff it's like endless it also says dilute 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 which means like you can use this for a long time because you can dilute it when you dilute stuff you add in water it says on um, one part soap to three parts water so you guys can use this for a lot of different things I normally don't have it in my shower but um, being that I actually do use this soap sometimes, I thought I'd put it in here. Um, but I've been using this soap for my floor and I'm gonna put a clip in. The It's just multi, it's so many uses that you can use this with, but because of my routine hygiene, I was like, I gotta put this in it because I do use it. But it's the Pure Castile Soap and Dr. Burns, and you can get it anywhere, Target, Walmart, you name it, you can get it. After that, I like to use a nice, good smelling body wash. I would use Caress. I like all of Caress um, smells. This is the Rose Lang Lang Oil to indulge and pamper. It has a floral oil essence. And this one I like to use as like a body scrub. And it is Shea Butter Brown Sugar for Gorgeous Radiant Skin. And it's an exfoliant. So it's like two in one. It makes your skin smell, it makes you smell really good and it makes your skin feel really soft. So I like to use that. Also, while I'm in the shower, I will clean my face with the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser and it's um, normal to oily skin and I have normal to oily skin. And my T-zone, it's all oily right here, like a triangle, oily. Here, 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 it's dry. But everywhere else, it's oily. It's like normal to dry here and in this area here, it's oily. So I'll use this while I'm in the shower. So. Down there, I don't use any soaps within the vaginal area. Only on the outer surface do I use ivory or dove. Only on the outer surface. Nothing but water goes in your inner parts of the vagina. Only water. I can't stress that enough. Only water. Now, if you have problems out of breakouts or anything like that 
um, using ivory with a scent. Try the, to use the sensitive where it's no smell at all. I haven't had any problems out of ivory. Um, or Dr. Bronner's um, Castile Soap, Pure Castile Soap. So you can use this also on um, the outer parts or of that area. Uh, I like to use that on, especially on my underarms. I have to, I don't normally get like um, scrub, like body scrubs and things like that. I do, um, but it's very, it's very rare. I would buy the uh, scrubs, the body scrubs and things like that. This pretty much, when I pick this up, cause it, I mean, it lasts a long time. So it works, works as, it works as an exfoliant for me. So after I shave and I do shave and I also sometimes would use Nair and I just started back using Nair recently. But when I, after I shave, I make sure that it's clean. I use either a hair conditioner. It softens your hair so that you can shave. Also, I would use a um, shaving cream any shaving cream. The shaving cream that I'm gonna show you guys that I'm using is a shaving cream that was given to me. So I'm just using it up. Um, nobody really in the household shave <laughs> but me. But after I shave, I would use this. I love this. This is the only thing that really helps after I use deodorant. And I'm gonna show you guys what kinds of deodorants that I use. I use deodorant I is what I do I take this and I put on my loofah and I wash off that's what I do base that's the first thing I did, that I do second I would use this and put this on the wash pump that's the second wash <laughs> it's not much y'all I'm telling you you'll be out of the shower in no time uh, I do that and then after I shave after I shave with this and the shaving cream or the conditioner is when I rinse off with warm water and then I go in and I scrub with this and I go around in circle of motions. Okay, so when I get in the shower, I just rinse off before I get, I'm basically just preparing to shave. But if I'm using Nair, I would put it on my skin and let it sit for three to five minutes or whatever different type of nair that you use however long that, it's, that, it, that it takes and then I would just wipe it off with warm water or I just take the water from the shower and let it rinse off either after I shave or after I use nair I always after I with nair I'll use the warm water and then when I shave I would use cold water so that my pores could tighten back up and close up basically. I use cold water, as cold as you can stand it. So that you don't get dead skin because once that skin, you can just wash the dead skin off and then keep your pores open so that the hair can come back, come through. And you want, it, it minimizes hair bumps and things like that. So you don't have to worry about the hair bumps. And I used to would get hair bumps all the time because I would just, Use a cream, shave, and go on about it. Also, after you shave, anytime after you shave and you get out of the shower and you scrub and you've done all of that, don't just use type of lotion. I rarely ever use lotion uh, after I get out of the shower because your skin is open and your pores are open and it's exposed to whatever you put it back in it. So I try to always use an oil. So that's why you see me with the coconut oil. As you can see, I use this oil, me and my daughter, we use this oil every day. We use it on our hair, we use it on our body, but especially after I get out of the shower and I pat myself dry, I would use the coconut oil. And whatever, make sure you just get organic virgin coconut oil. I would use that and I put all over my body.
Now, when I'm having little breakouts and things like that, I would use Witch Hazel after I either shave or, or use Nair. I say shave a lot because I mostly shave. Um, the Nair does last longer than a shave. And a lot of people that I've talked to and different YouTubers that I've seen, they used to get waxed all the time, but then they realized the Nair lasts just as long and it's cheaper. So you can get a bottle of Nair like this size of the Switch Hazel and um, use it. And within like a month, I mean, you can go at least a month before you have to use Nair again, before your hair starts going back. Um, but also I use Witch Hazel um, after I get out of, at, most of the time after I shave, I would use the Witch Hazel in any parts of my body. I would use this and I just dab some on a cotton ball and I just wipe it, wiping those areas, very sensitive areas and I haven't had any trouble out of hair bumps and things like that. Um, now I'm going to show you guys the different deodorants that I use. Under my arms, I use Clinical Secret Deodorant. This is deodorant that I use and it works. I haven't had any smells, no mustiness, none of that. And during the, win um, during the winter time, I can get away with using this deodorant and it works good. But I'm sorry, summertime... It's not working sometimes. Sometimes I cannot use that. So I'm, I I just try to switch up deodorants because for some reason, sometimes your body get used to things and it just doesn't work anymore. But I noticed that wintertime native works um, for me and it gives my um, body and pores in, in my head. It gives my body a break from the clinical strength deodorant. And this is Shower Fresh, and it does have aluminum zirconium in it, um, and it says B5, but all I know is that it works, and this is what I had to get. The other deodorant that I use in my on my lady parts, not down all the way up in there, down on it, just on the face of it where I sweat. I would sweat, and it, I just can't stand it. I, I had to get something that was safe and doesn't have any aluminum. It's, a, it's Dr. Teal's aluminum free deodorant, magnesium plus rose milk and essential oils with shea butter arrowroot powder. And it stresses aluminum free and it's made with milk protein. This works and you don't have to worry about all the harsh chemicals or anything like that being so close to your lady part. So this works. Also, after I get out of the shower, I use Q-tips. I mean, so these are the three things that I use while I'm in the shower. First, I use this with ivory. Then I go in and I use this caress with the washcloth or this. And then after I shave and before I get, a, get out of the shower, I would use this and I would put a little bit, most of the time I would use a little bit of this Castile soap together and I go in and I rub in circular motions my legs and every all the areas that I've um, shaved and my armpits, I would use this. So, I hope I covered everything and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like you guys to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe for more videos like this. I hope that I help you, some of you guys and that you will continue to keep watching. Bye-bye. Hi guys, meet my sister, Latonya Lorraine. And as you can tell, this is the way to go. Guys, look, she has things that are shaped like food. I mean, if you have like an idea in your head and you want some soap that's shaped up like donuts, I mean, I mean, how could you go wrong? Having donuts on your sink so people could wash their hands 
or you could wash your face or whatever it is and have it custom made to the kind of scents that you like. Florida, citrus. I mean, rain bars, candles, and melt is the way to go. I mean, seriously, guys, this is like the best idea my sister could have ever come up with. She's very talented. She loves making things, crafts, and all kinds of things. I mean, for your birthday, your anniversary, anything you can think of, like you can use it as a gift and re-gift these items. I mean, look, blueberries. She makes soap for newborn babies, infants, toddlers, eczema, and it looks like food, popsicles. So I hope you guys check her out. I do have an email so that you can email her. Just email her whatever you see here that you like. You can order it through her at rainbcm at gmail.com and let her know what you would like or what you would to have custom made. Thank you guys for watching.